I guess it just depends what you're playing or and whether you're willing to go for it or whatever. I'm gonna play mini bot here, even without a curve on turn six or on turn four. I think it's too weak if I make dudes up until turn four because of armor smith and acolyte of pain. Okay, so I think I don't attack. Wait a minute, if he fire war axes my zombie chow, I kind of want to attack. Problem with the attack is if he cruel taskmasters it to 3 1 trades for my zombie chow, it becomes worse for me than not attacking. Because it's just cruel masters, taskmasters 3 3. Huh. So each one's weak to a different thing. I guess let's just don't attack then. I think I'm weaker to cruel than the fire war axe. face center. Looks like that should be Despite. Might not be able to play the Harrison in time to stop this. Alright, well... I think this makes more sense. This is the trade he wants, right? Like, he can't actually just attack the mini bot. You have to ping off the D shield first. If I attack for him, I wouldn't be able to peel off the armor. I guess lose some damage as well. Well, we'll see if he attacks. If he doesn't have a nice Harrison, but. Alright, so the problem is I don't have something good to do. I guess it's okay, like, I have very good situational cards, Peacekeeper and B Big Game Hunter against Warrior and Harrison, so I guess I can get away with just making a dude and taking this game slow. Like, these are really bad cards to waste against Warrior. I mean, if he goes Beltra, I can just Peacekeeper it. It's not that great a Peacekeeper target. I think it is better though than Peacekeepering nothing and then playing Belcher and then maybe having a Peacekeeper again, like two Peacekeepers wasted. Uh, I don't think that's that. Is it that useful? I guess it's useful. Because I can start working on his Belcher first form and slime form with this cock hammer. I wonder if it's better not to attack and try to have the 1-1 one, one buffed. I'm not sure because if you, if I do buff the 1-1, one, one, like the belter is really good at just attacking into it. Might rather force this trade. Alright, so now I pick up my second peacekeeper target. Hopefully he doesn't run Baron Geddon. It's like really good against Paladin. I do have BJH, but I'd rather BJH the Rag. Or Alex Straza. Okay. 
So both the shield slams are gone. I have an okay turn here. Like I, I leave up a, a guy to ping off the Tyrion's D shield, but still it's a Tyrion, so. Might not be a big deal. So I think the Oscars are tonight. I don't know. Who's gonna win? I don't remember any like, great movies this year. That great. What's my favorite movie this year? I guess it would be last year, right? Not this year. This is like February. I guess my favorite movie was like Interstellar last year. Uh oh. I might have to get lucky. I guess. Okay, so if he does steal Tyrion, I have Harrison Jones. That's also a consideration. This doesn't seem so bad. Like, so it looks like I'll have to attack like this. I can't just true silver plus the one one. <laughs> That's really bad because then if he steals my Tyrion, oh, it's a higher chance to steal my Tyrion. And also, it's hard, like he steals a six six instead of six one. All right, I'm gonna make a dude. If he steals here. I need this guy to kill trade. I guess that means I'm not doing anything, but I can't really complain since I got lucky there. I bring life. I have so many weapons. Actually, yeah. Can that possibly be worth it? Just to get one swing here? I think I should. Picking up the second true silver. Another consideration is like it heals me a little bit. Once he's Alexed me, um, my health becomes really relevant. Like if he kills Tyrion, then the, there's like Grom tasks, like Grom cruel and things like that. Uh oh. Well. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna equally consecrate. There's no way I can attack this. I'd be dead to Grom Cruel. Also, the, the mine, kind of not completely dead, but pretty much dead. Actually, what about if I just attack like this, then equality, and don't consecrate? What's the difference? I guess I save the consecrate. I'm not I'm not sure if that's important, and I lose a lot of damage. I actually like just equally consecrate more. He has so little cards on his hand. It's like equality is the important one, right? Not consecrate. Because equality you can actually trade for big things like maybe like Ragnaros or whatever. The actual consecrate here isn't that important against Warrior. I'm losing many, many damages. At least four here from big game. Losing my 1-1 one, one, as well as like the consecrate damage. Like Warrior is not likely to swarm for consecrate and he doesn't even have a big hand. So... Or he's just gonna go face and hope that I mine myself out. It's not quite lethal, but if he goes face 14, mine go down to 4, it could get pretty scary. Alright. I do have a Harrison draw here. Core Master, so 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. He has 19, so no lethal. Um. Let's break his weapon. Uh, could it possibly have been better to cut Trissel run attack? I think that's too like scared of the weapon or the burrowing mine. I'd be at sixteen instead of fourteen. It means that like death spite doesn't kill me. <laughs> If he, if like death by and then I just die. The move is so bad. I'm not, I mean, I am pretty far ahead, but that seems pretty crazy. All right, so it's all in on the, on the burrow. Burrowing mine. Oh, okay. I don't know. It's something to consider. Grom mine, death spite mine. If I equip the true silver, just. It's a really like inefficient move, and it's playing around a mine. 
Which, if I actually lost the game doing that, I don't think I'd ever be able to live it down. Yeah, even though Equality is good against Handlock, I think I'm gonna mulligan it. It's bad against Zoo, and if it is the Molten version, you want to hand like you you actually want to save Equality for the Molten combo, with, like when they're low, and not use Equality on the first Mountain Giant. So rather get it later and have more chance to draw VGH in the Owl. This might actually be Demon Lock though, no Moltens. I've actually played really slow, like just hero power here and save these, but since I have the equality, I feel like I can rush him down, like force force him to make moves. So this is fine. Like if he has to spend dark bombs like one for one of my guys, then I can't complain. Like he doesn't come out ahead of the dark bomb versus knife juggler trade. So I'm thinking knife juggler, coin hero power, or shredder here. This is actually Machuka Hellfire. I'm trying to think what it's better against. Like, so if he plays Drake, f seven cards in his hand. 4-7 that means. I guess I would be able to True Silver and trade this guy for it. I think I'd rather True Silver and trade Juggler for it, but that's significantly weaker to Hellfire. He actually has a sub emote for a wall. It's pretty cool. Guess it's not the worst. Okay, so I guess we kind of know what his deck is now as well. I guess it means I, sh I should trade because of Argus. Argus is perfect on two minions here. Like one imp trades for the juggler and one imp trades for the recruit, leaving himself a 2-1 imp, which is really annoying as well for me. I pretty much have to like true silver it down or something. So I guess this is probably the sandstorm demon lock. Where's strife grow? <laughs> Wait a minute. 8, 16 damage. This is like 7 here. That's like, that's pretty much lethal. Maybe I should just attack with the true silver. And not, not even hold it. Like, I actually have a lot of damage combined with equality. Plus, there's probably no giants, molten giants either. I should probably say this from Melganis there. It's pretty much lethal. Fortune <laughs> Fort Fort lethal scary enough to get a concede. Wow, I someone said like it, I only play warriors as paladin. I guess it's true. It's pretty lucky. Warrior is pretty much a big thing right now because of like hunter. It's also really good against rogue. Basically hunter and rogue. Uh, let's, get, let's keep the Shredder against Warrior. I don't think I keep two, though. And I don't like keeping Muster for battle, either. Because, like, all the Warrior minions are 1-3s and 1-4s, and so... Muster is very bad early. Well, looks like I do pick up Muster anyways. It's not great here because, you know, 1-4, but it's probably better than making a dude still. I don't have to play around Cruel Taskmaster. Like, attack this so you can't Cruel, cruel Taskmaster it. Because if it Cruels, it'd be 3-2 and uh, just, there's nothing for an attack. He might just coin up Death Bite. In fact, he kind of needs to coin up Death Bite. If he doesn't have whirlwind, because if he plays it on turn four of the dust bite, he's not gonna be able to stop my quartermaster, I think, right? So if you play it next turn, 
Yeah, he'd be one turn too late to get the whirlwind off. Alright, so I guess I'm just playing the shredder into the it's like a suicide shredder? That actually seems kinda weird. I don't like it. But I am gonna really force the whirlwind here. Because I played the suicide shredder I mean didn't even play the shredder. If you only have three guys. Okay, well, I guess I'm going for the the muster for battle. I actually think I'm gonna play it right now and get rid of the charge of the weapon. Like, what if he plays Belcher? Hmm. I like this better because. If he plays Belcher, I go Muster for Battle, he trades the Acolyte for one. I have three guys left. The Belcher pretty much trades from a whole Muster, like Quartermaster. I don't think it's that great. Or I can take take out the Belcher first of the Cruel and the and the um and the Shredder first. I mean the the Belcher at the Lights Justice first. And the Shredder might be better. Yeah, so I'm gonna go for this turn. I'm actually gonna lose the charge of the weapon, like I said originally. Because of Harrison Jones. Like, the Light's Justice is a really mediocre card against Warrior. I'd rather have this weapon as a 1-3 than a 1-4. Because this way, I still get um, the muster here before his Baron Geddon, potentially. If he had Whirlwind, it didn't matter. Like, he could slot me anyways. Also, I get the Core Master in turn 7. These are some like small things as well, because when you core master turn seven instead of six, you can make a dude before core mastering. Well, I guess I'm going for it. It's, it's too good still. I almost feel like this forced a brawl anyways. So I don't like trading, get the extra damage. Technically I can survive with a shield maiden, but that would be unfortunate. Okay. I have 10 damage, but it probably can't just raise where it can armor up a lot. I can basically attack twice here, once here, and then consecrate. Okay, so that seems really good. Yeah, I'm actually kind of scared of dying at 17. Try to absorb some of the boom bots here. I'm saving Knife Juggler plus the Doctor Boom as kind of a combo next turn. So I, I, I did just go ahead and make a dude instead of play both the Juggler and the Shield Mini Bot. I guess I'm not really scared of just dying yet, but it could get really awkward for me if he just starts attacking me with a weapon or something. It's like turn 10 before Grom Cruel. Grom. Huh. Grum Whirlwind is turn 9, I guess. I mean, if I true sir, I'm taking damage anyways. Pretty much I'll be able to kill this with knife jugglers. Hopefully. Oh, that's not good. Wow, I wonder if that means I can just die here. I guess I can die. I can definitely die now. I guess I might just have to punch it. I'm taking a 6 anyways, but it's a siege engine. He can armor up, let's see. Armor up, death bite. He's armor up three times to kill me. Death bite, cruel taskmaster. Armor up is a kill. I guess there's other things like cruel. 
like armor smith Rollins or something. I don't know, like if he can armor up a lot. I don't know if how that works. Never seen this card played before. Well, it's not this is why you don't gamble. I didn't have a way to remove that without gambling. It was my choice to kill it. Like if I could true silver to kill it, I'd still be taking the damage. Man, okay, at least I'm not dead. Grom Cruel kills me next turn. One, two, three, four, five. True Silver, nine. Alright, well, let's see how these boom bots go. Wait, what if I Owl? I think I wanted to curve True Silver, though. Actually, no, I don't think True Silver is that good. It probably doesn't hit a breakpoint, the true silver healing for two. Like, I died to Grom anyways. Ragnaros, but I mean, that's really a chance. Also, he could have gone for the Rag last turn. Like, Grom, he could have killed me last turn as well if he had Grom, Whirlwind. Grom, Cruel, I'd die anyways. It's very unlikely he has Rag or Gorhal because he would kill me last turn. Maybe he can try for a Rag last turn. And plus, he only has 20% chance to win with Rag. If he hits anything else, I'll win. Also, I don't think it's particularly important to keep this owl. Alright, looks like you can't activate Grom, hopefully. Alright, I got a Terror Nation of Christopher. Used for HD hundreds. I currently have a Zoner Essence XTS sound card, but I heard that is too star 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 for them, so I was wondering what I should upgrade to. I'm using a Lovely Cube amp slash DAC combo, like it came with it, like the DAC built in. I don't know, it's like some guys, it's almost like a custom one, 